Hello nerds! We are going to look at a product that is brand new to me. Um, I imagine will be brand new to you. Uh, it's new to the market. It's a place to play and they reached out to me and seemed like nice guys and they have something new and I thought well gosh why don't I just show this to everyone uh, to see what we're looking at. So here are the basics. What you'll see is you'll see land, single tiles, land, mega tiles, corner and border set, and uh, some green grass fill and a hill set. So essentially what you do is you build some terrain for your games. So let's look at some of these products and, and we'll do this in real time and, and give you a look on what it is. So first off, here's the mega tiles. I open this up. One thing to see is it is uh, the packaging ripped a little bit of this. Uh, that's understandable. It's a new product to the market and so you know, they're trying to get the packaging so that it comes out at a, a nice, um, inexpensive price point for folks. And so that's kind of kinks that uh, will get worked out. But what it is, is you'll see, here's the mega tile. So you, you lay this down and you can see closely they're interlocking. And so you have a lot of the more expensive sets and they or the 3D printed. This is just a nice, look at that. You get this mega tile and they fit together so nicely and so quickly. And so what you can do is before you know it, you have the makings of a little brush terrain type area. Now, if you wanna change the, the landscaping a little bit, oh, it's, let's see, it's clearing out a little bit over here uh, for your characters. And it shows you what's inside, three of the big, large guys, a couple of the small ones. And you can quickly create some terrain. Again, this is real time. This is not hard to do. It's actually kind of fun. I'm not going to lie to you. So you can piece all these together and form a nice little terrain set, which is great, I think, for a really nice price point and give yourself a little bit of variety. So that's mega set. Now this is the single tiles. So I went ahead and opened this up so you can see these are all single individuals. So if you're trying to create something a little more custom and you can really get in and start to work on the little individual tiles, this one of these packages gives you the whole, whole mess of tiles. How many is it? 35. So this is just the grass which is really great because yeah, maybe it starts to clear out at the end. And what's great about the grass is if you're doing some sort of hex crawl with your game or whatever, you can see the edges of the hexes a little better there. Maybe you want to see that, maybe you don't. I don't know what you're creating, but again, this is a nice alternative to some of the big, just heavy and expensive sets this is the kind of thing where, gosh, you could throw these in a Ziploc bag and put them in your, put them in a backpack or just have them handy in a, in a drawer to create things quickly and custom. Now, you'll see this set here. This is the corner and border set. So what this is, I haven't opened this up yet, but I looked at the back so that I have an idea of what's in there. Okay. Gotcha. So this is something where you can punch it out. <clears throat> and I like punching out things, that's kind of fun. But then you can start to create your border. Let's see how smarter I am, smart I am here. You flip that over. Ah, see it's coming together already. And so you put your border together. Oh, flip that clavy, okay. Got it going. Next thing you know, you have a nice edge to your whole map. I mean, I like that. That's a lot of fun. So this is the border set. Maybe you'd, you'd want to get a mega. So you have some big tiles. You get some singles with the different colorings um, to give it a little variety. And then your border pack gives you what you need to create your corners. And I didn't see the corners, but they're in there. Let's see. Well, wow. okay, here's the corners. So you have your corner set so you can ultimately provide a corner. 
So that is great. I like that a lot. But there's one more thing that I want to show you. And I think this is really fun as well. So here's your two dimensions. What if you want to do three dimension and you want to do it pretty quickly? This is hill set. I think they have some more of these. Maybe a mountain set. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Again, this is a place to play. Um, it's a new product. Let's see here. Here is the exact a place to play. Dot toys is the website to give you a look but this is fun look at this so you have these pieces and they fit together and it gives you an idea on how to stack them and put them together with these little pins so that you can create quick little hills and and different types of structures so Again, if you're doing some sort of D&D hex crawl or if you're playing some sort of tactical miniatures game or, you know, so much fun stuff us nerds are in our basements doing. And you can piece these together and it'll give you a sense. Again, this is a top piece, so it doesn't have the numbers. But you put that over, do the one, you find your little plastic pin, you drop it in there. The next thing you know, you have a little bit of elevation. So they also, it looks like some corners and some edges for certain types of things to just really um, continue to build out um, like a custom little hill set. And again, you can see it all built out. And that's just good fun if you just want a little bit of terrain on the table. So. I saw this, um, again, a new product, but I thought, oh, okay, that's interesting. It's affordable. It's something that's nice. Uh, a nice change of pace from some of the, just the heavier, more complicated sort of things. And again, if you go to uh, place to play dot toys, uh, I don't know more than that other than a couple emails and they were just nice guys. So I wanted to show this to everyone. So that's all I got. Later, nerds.